yeah. with your toggles and woggles. Yeah, woggles, actually, I think. Now, do you get your woggle in a twist, Andrew, when it comes to complicated questions oh, yeah. about oh, yeah. democracy yeah. and parliamentary process? It sounds painful. Well, we've got just the team for the bobber job because the Scouts have invaded Westminster. And they're taking on MPs and ministers in a quiz today. Be warned, it's all to mark the launch of their new citizenship project, which aims to help young people become active citizens. Well, we can cross now to College Green and talk to Scout leader Peter Jeffries. Scout, Imogen Woodhall, there in the middle, and MP Graham Evans, who's co-chair of the all-party parliamentary Scout group. Graham, can we start with you? Tell us a bit more about this. Well, it's a real opportunity for scouts from all over the country to come into Westminster to uh, test their skills on general knowledge and politics uh, with ministers and politicians, as, as, as you've just said. I see. Well, Peter, will your scouts get a badge for this? Will this be the latest, along with accident prevention and <laughs> camping, there'll be political engagement badge? I, I think one of the things that they're really going to get out of today is um, a, a really good time. Um, we, we, we've <laughs> been... <hope>. Uh, <laughs> We've been part of um, helping to, to get this uh, project together to help scouts like Imogen um, to, to understand more about the world around them and about how to engage in the political process. Yeah, I mean, Graeme, it does all seem to tie in with what they're doing in schools at the moment, certainly leading up to GCSE, um, young people in citizenship and politics. I mean, is that the idea, to sort of link it educationally? Oh, no, it's absolutely uh, right, and it's all credit to the scouting movement, but uh, education, in my view... Uh, with politics uh, has been lacking in uh, recent years, uh, along with the teaching of history. I think politics and history go together, and indeed citizenship. We just had Michael Heseltine uh, on previously uh, to us uh, coming on, and he was a minister in the 1970s in the Ted Heath government, the Minister for Aviation, and how many people actually remember that or know that? And it's about the general public engaging in the important, vitally important subject of, of uh, politics. Well, Imogen, do you think it'll work? Does it sound interesting? I think it's interesting and I think it'll work because not many people know about Parliament, especially young people, so it's a good opportunity. Right, and what are your impressions, your sort of first impressions being at Westminster? I don't know if this is the first time you've been here, maybe you've been here before, but looking around Parliament. It's very big. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of them. They all go and hide in there, don't they, Graham? <laughs> yes, I mean, we do. <laughs> What is the best way, do you think, Peter, I mean, you deal with young people all the time, of actually trying to explain this, make this accessible to young people like Imogen? Um, I think one of, the, one of the really important things for, for scouts like Imogen and others across the country to understand is how it affects their lives. So rather than it being a far away, um, far away concept that's got nothing to do with their real lives, what is it in their local communities? Um, how can we help to become more active um, locally with our local authorities as well as our local MPs so that everybody can understand a bit more about what young people are thinking about the world around them? Well... Taking the whole day into account, we are going to quiz Imogen and Graham. We're going to pit you against each other here. Yes, Graham, be very scared. I am. Um, I am. We're going to start with you, Imogen, first of all. And my first question to you is, who is leader of the opposition? Think Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> 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 if that's a clue. Is that an unfair clue, Owen? Are we allowed to give little hints along the side? <laughs> <laughs> there we go, the right answer there. All right. Well, how many Houses of Parliament are there? Imogen, do you know? Two. Yes, well done. And you can get a bonus point if you can name them both. Lords and Commons. How Lords and Commons. Well done. And no, we didn't we didn't hear you've got a very deep voice, Imogen. And how old how old do you have to be to get the vote? Mm, sixteen? Well, some people think 18. so. Eighteen. Yay! Eighteen. Well I think we'll give you two and a half there out of three. Now, Graham, no help I don't think for you. <laughs> who was Prime Minister? Who was British Prime Minister when Abraham Lincoln was the President of the United States? Pass. Yes, it is quite hard actually. Um, it's Lord Palmerston. Oh, should have known that. You should have done, but you didn't, so you don't get that one. Thank you. So, what, do <laughs> what does LIBOR stand for? LIBOR is uh, the interest rate which banks agree between it, each it other. It is, it is, but do you know what it actually stands for word for word? No. Uh, no. Pass. Okay. It's the London Interbank Offered oh, Rate. Right. And which British animal links the founder of the Society of Friends, a 1605 comedy by playwright Ben Johnson, and a Whig politician born in 1756? Which animal links those? Blackadder. 
<laughs> no. Well, I have to say, you haven't done very well. We no. did make them quite tricky. Thank and you. actually, Peter, do you have the Daily Politics mug there? I have. Now, <laughs> now who actually wins this one after, after all those questions? Well, I think we can fairly and squarely say Imogen. I think you, you absolutely get the Daily winner. Politics well Thank you. Daily Politics mug. And uh, sorry, I mean, Graham, there's nothing for you at all, I'm afraid. The story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us there. Thank you. Do you think I, it's. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. When was that an animal? Anyway. She was never Prime Minister.